Contact Mida. Right. If you thought Cod Almighty was all right, you're gonna love this. You want me to go? Yep. <laughs> How was that? <laughs> you look at him, he's still out there. He's still going. Right, I was hooked up to another nice cod here on a Bassman spinnerbait. He feels like a pretty good fish too. He's hanging in deep at the minute. Yep. Stuck around under if you want, Rocket. Yep, no, he's just hanging at the minute. He's a good fish. He's coming back up, mate. He's coming back up. Beautiful. There he is. He's, he's a lovely fish. He's a honker. Go, mate, go, 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 go. He's a hopper of a fish, all right. He's right round here, the motor now. Oh, he's a bloody ripper, isn't he? Have a look at the size of that one. Look at the gob on him. Have a look at that for a Murray Cod. That's got to be a hundred, easy hundred pound. Have a look at that. Easy hundred pound. That is an absolute snarler on a mumbler. Oh, not on a mumbler, sorry, on a Bassman spinnerbait, one of the new Codman series. Woo, look at the power of the big fella. He's not done yet. He is an absolute snorter of a fish. Have a look at that. Now that's a real Murray Holy cut. hell, have a look at that. <laughs> what a ripper. Oh, he's up. Oh. We'll, call that, we'll call that a re quick release. <laughs> oh, no. What a magnificent fish, though. Hey? Holy Did you get a hold shit. of him, Baz? Oh, I've got some pants on Yeah, he would have been a good 100 pound, that fish. And, uh, well, shit. missed a photo, but hey, we're going to release it anyway, so pretty cool. All right, we're going to get another one. Righto, <laughs> it's a deal. <laughs> He's not a bad fish. You right where we're going? Do you want me to steer the boat anywhere, mate? Take me out, Pato, if you can, because there's a big tree. Just move to your left a little bit then, mate. There's a big tree underneath us. Yep. No, actually, don't worry about it. I'll try and fight this fellow. We might fight him into the bank here. Yep. Right. Well, there we are, mate. 
Oh, uh oh. Didn't like a few of that. Hook for him, was it? I reckon it was. He's not done yet. <laughs> he's not a bad fish though, because there's a lot of weight there. Yeah, you can see it loading up just, nicely. Just when, he's, when he's sitting there, there's a big, it's either a big log there, or a big weed. I've got a feeling like it's a There's a lot log. of mud stirred up there, he's turning up the dirt. Yeah. I've got a feeling he's in a log there. He is. Got you bricked up. Yeah, got him off. Got him up? Yep. Oh, he's a nice fish, lovely fish. Look at that for power. Holy hell, see that? Like, no, I'm going that way. <laughs> You'll do what I say. You right? Is he done? I don't think he's done yet, mate. No, I don't. He's not far off the hut. Yeah, have a go at that. Yeah, Ooh, no. beauty. No, he's still got a little bit of energy. Not a monster, but by gee, they've got some power, haven't they? He's still got some power. He's hooked under the head there, Pato. I'll try to set his head up. If you can yeah. keep the head tilted, it stops that dive. If you like this. Go to power off, just let that lady go. There you go, buddy. Oh, yeah. Ready? Got him now. Good man. Good man. <laughs> Got him now, mate. We'll run him in, babe, and we'll do this thing, eh? It's in a good spot, I reckon. We'll He's a beautiful in. fish, too, mate. He's pretty as. He's got no bloody uh, anchor worm on him. If you want to jump out and grab the fish, I'll pull us up the bank. We can do whatever we want. Oh, He's not got one bit of pink in him. He's not lactating. No. Oh, He's calm as calm. Give him a fair bit of hurt. He's no monster, but he's... He's, he's a nice fish, mate. He's buddy. 45 pound, probably. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want me to jump? <laughs> oh, that's cold. I bet it is. It's cold in my arm. <laughs> that's not even funny. I want to get him around that other way, so... Yeah, yeah, mate. I'm, just, I'm holding him so you get hold of him. You got him? I hope so. You right? Because I know he's going to... Yep, let him go. You want him to go? Yep. <laughs> How was that? <laughs> hey, look at him, he's still out there. He's still going. Fish. He's a nice one, mate. He's not done yet. <laughs> <laughs> what up, How you doing, buddy? Lift him up. I'll lift you wide. That's it behind him. Good man. Good, good man. on you, man. Here he comes again. Good Woo! fish. Nice fish. Oh, good fish. Massive. Well done, Jock. Thank you. <laughs> good man. Yeah, you got that rod? I got that rod. Do you want to? Do you want to? Round this way, Gus. Grab a hold of him. I've got this spool. Get Luben to get hold of him. On a nice AC invader. Yeah, the big one. Beautiful. Yeah, I'll be very careful you not to pin my hands. Him. Yeah, I reckon I might use the grippers. You got him, buddy? Yeah. You'll need the grippers. Well done, Jock. Good Thanks. fish, buddy. Woohoo. <laughs> you got him, Luke? Oh, crack almighty. You got him, Jocko? I got him. <laughs> you got him. All right. I'll... Do you want a hand, Luke? Yeah, I reckon. Excuse me. You'll be right. It's too bad. Well, you've done well, mate. You've done Thank well. You. Have a look at this. Oh, oh Jocko, mate. That's awesome. Oh, oh really? Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Yeah, pick me in the freezer, man. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa, whoa. Oh, yeah, all right, fish. Look at this big fella. What's, what's your hand there, mate? I'll just get a hold of him. Be careful of your hands. What do you think of that, Jock? Wow. Hey, <laughs> well, if you want to grab that camera, Lou. Yeah. yeah. Have a look at that. Go down, Jock. What are you going to give him, mate? What are you going to give him a kiss? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, really? Oh, oh, there he goes. Hey. Well done, mate. Look 
those of you who watched our last DVD, you may remember Mr. Glenn Casey, uh, Bass Grand Finals 2006, managed to uh, flick the lure up into a tree, um, a wayward cast we might call it. Uh, he used a snapping technique to get the lure off. We've had plenty of questions about this technique. Um, if you're a lure fisherman, it's something that, that you should know. So I'll get young Bourbon Pfeiffer to explain how it works, and uh, you should be able to do it. So this was a um, trick shown to us by David Hodge, and it consists of sending a shot down your line, and you need to have at least at least a mono mono leader of about a metre for the trick to work. And you point your rod straight at it, and if you've got a, a bent rod, the shock's not going to allow to get down the line. So you point your rod straight at it, pull some line back, and I like to click my reel into freeze pull so I've got control of the whole situation. Pull the line back, flick it forward, and the lure comes off. Easy as that. So every, every lure fisherman should have that in their arsenal. A very good trick. Um, quite that, often you'll do that. Flick it off a snag. Wind it, crunch you off. You know, it, it, it saves you heaps of time. You don't disturb a, sit, a spot when you go into it. If you cast into it first, snag and get snagged. A couple of flicks like that comes off, start winding. You're not taking the boat in and disturbing the fish, so we will catch more fish. Now Lubin actually, he was snagged up before he caught that, and he gave it the hodgy flick. The spinner bait shot backwards about a foot, and kicked it back in gear, and the big fella come out and grabbed it. So. uh very handy technique, the old flick. So I'll put him back, Luby, right? Yep, all right, so good. He's a beauty. <laughs> Go the Woo! Yep. Oh. Uh. Don't worry. Straight out there, mate. I hit a bump. I hit a bump and got snagged, and as I pulled it off, he grabbed it, uh. took off with it, and let it go again. Uh. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, that's good. That's good. Yeah. So I wait, man. One colour on the on the set. So it's really fun. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 Yep, 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 yep. Just Oh, beautiful. Yeah, look at oh, the boil. Jesus. Look at the boil. He's all over the shop. He's Jesus. trying to get home. Oh, gone. Look at the boil. Look at the size of it. Don't worry, mate. Don't worry. Have a look at the hook. Ah, Have a look at the hook, Tony. Looks like something. Yeah. Well, the mum was. That's right, life, let's mate. Get back out there. That's life. Ah. Oh man, <laughs> it's just frustrating. Oh, I felt the hook pull twice. I had him on both hooks, and I felt them both coming up. Yeah. Gee, he was on for a good bit too. Oh, mate, he? I had him, man. Yeah, I had him wheeling. Well, you see, he was just like sitting there. Yeah. Didn't know where he was going. He was going. He was going. <coughs> Maybe I shouldn't have thumbed him, but you've got to keep him out of the trap, don't you? Yeah, yes and no, but whether he was going heading back in or not. <laughs> when well, you've been hunting and fishing. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Oh. Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, but I don't think he's eating. No, I think he's just, he's not, wasn't keen. 
hell free. It's a bit harsh. I think we've got enough footage of Mr. Scaling Rights and some other stuff. You will sleep at some stage, in the right direction. Just, um, he's a nice fish. Mate, just he's a nice fish. Just work, mate, work. he's a nice fish. A really nice fish, so he's he's not done by any means. Do what you gotta do. Just um turn this out into the stream. Yeah, just for a second. Look at that one base. Oh yes. Look at that. How good's that? Watch the motor. Is he done? Yeah, I think so, mate. Right, lead him along here, mate, not good. Can you swing the nose towards the bank so we can get the light better? Swing the nose towards the bank, mate. <coughs> Just be careful. <coughs> you open his gob. I'll grab hold of it. Sorry, mate, but he's not opening his. Now I got him. You're gonna to have to drive, Glenel. Can't lift him in. I don't think he's too big for that, mate. Okay, he's a nice fish. Oh, he's a lovely fish, mate. He's... You right to pick him up? No, no, go under it, just cradle him, mate. And then if he freaks out, he's not gonna mince you. Just come. Just squat down and pick him up as though you're picking up a bag of spuds, mate. Just watch the spines on yourself. Come that you shot. Good man. What a beauty! How's that, Baz? Nice oh, cod, caught on bass man spinner bait. Come from the down, down side. I don't want to try and knock out a piece of mountain. That is a metre ten. Oh, he's nice. Fish. A lovely big fat fish. You right if I unhook him, mate? Yep. He might act up a wee bit because he's well and truly <coughs> pinned. Hang on a second. What's up? He's just, just digging in a bit. You right?
We'll just pop this big bloke back in. Glenn caught just a few moments ago. Beautiful. And off he goes. Back into the depths. Well, look, what's he done to your hand? Oh, my goodness. Cod thumb. <laughs> Looks more like cod hand to me. It's cod hand. <laughs> so what's your tea hand on his teeth? Yeah. yeah. Just his Top teeth, or bottom? Man. I think they were bottom ones. They're sharp. They're like sort of sandpaper. No. And then there's a ray sharp. right at the back that's yeah. like little shark teeth. Yeah. Yeah. Sandpaper, more like a rasp than sandpaper. It's a lot more coarser than a sandpaper. The boys, um, the cod in um, Copeton, yeah, because they feed on all the turtles and that, don't have sharper teeth. Oh yeah. Yeah, coddy and uh, and mussels and that too, probably. And flatty and that we're talking about it, and the ones that sort of predominantly feed on fish, yeah, they've got a lot sharper things. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, if you're feeding on turtles, you'd blunt them. Yeah. It? yeah. Yeah. They, they said they're spitting turtles out, mm. and you can feel the turtle lot the size of a um, dinner like, plate. Yeah. Inside their guts. Because yeah. that's what they do, they reckon. They swallow them, same as mussels, and digest all the shit out and then spew the, the shells back up. Because yeah. they can't pass them out, so yeah. they regurgitate them. That's unreal. Oh, it's amazing. Weird, isn't it? That little offsider of you sitting right there in front of you on the stick. Mm. 5,000 trees to sit on and they've got to sit that close yeah. to one another. Excellent fish on a bass man. Good grab day gas, well done. Oh, honker. Let's get him around there fellas. Look at this. Oh, good hey, fish. Good fish. Good fish, Pete. Nice, healthy fish. And a bass man. Have a look at this. Have a look at this. This is what he's been feeding on. Pybury. There's a big pybury in there. He's trying to cough it up. Well, actually, it's not a pybury. There's actually a big carp. Look Have a look at this. Okay, yeah. this fish, you know, we'll put him back in. He's a great big legend. Down you go. Beautiful. Beautiful fish, Peaky. Young fellow into a good fish here. Take time, buddy. Oh, he's, he's pulling on. There you go, mate. I got it. Don't I'm worry. Gonna, I'm gonna hold you. He's a big cod, this one. Oh, he's, he's a good fish, I think, Jocker boy. <laughs> there you go. He feels like one too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's, you got him? Oh, oh, yeah, he's a nice fish. Keep bring him, mate. Take a lot of getting in. They do take a bit of getting in, don't they? Hey, front man Augusta. Oh, I hear me. Here you go. Oh, great. Here he comes. Great, bigger than any. He's not a bad one. Looks pretty big, get ready for the takeoff. <laughs> Looks like Keep the pressure on him. <coughs> Here he comes, mate. 
It's going to take off us. He's a beauty. Yeah, it's got him on there. Have a look at that. Beautiful. Yeah, Hang I'm on to that rod. Hang on to it. I got it. You might try to go again. Here he goes. You ready? Yep. Might have one more going. Step forward, mate. Step forward. Move with the fish. Just move. Here he goes. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. They're nearly too big for you, these fish, aren't they? Yeah. Here he goes. Go. Ready? Here he goes again. <laughs> Have a look at that swirl. <laughs> there he is again. Mm. There you go, with him. Pretty good. <laughs> His handle's not playing good. Come on, You got him? Whiff, 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 whiff. Hang on, that will see if we can get a grip on him. See if you can get your hand on him. Whoa, hoo -hoo. And Dad's teased him. You got him? Oh, I got him. <laughs> It's amazing that I can pull this in. It is amazing, go, mate. Try and Big get that out. Fish is nearly as big as you. That's scary. <coughs> Got him. It could even be bigger than you. He won't have his gob for me, Jocko. And all. Oh. Got him. Yeah. Got him this time. All right. Will we bring him out? Yep. Or will we drive us into the bank, Gus, and I'll. Um, you what a beautiful fish, mate. Good on you. Thanks. What an absolute ripper. How good. Well, have a look at this. Well. That's nice. Have a look at that, eh? How beautiful. What do you think of that? That's awesome, yeah. Just when you thought it was safe to get back in the water, folks, we brought young Jock out with us to make our second DVD, Cod Almighty. And the young fellas landed this absolute cracker of a fish first morning out. I'll just pick him up and give you a quick look at him. Every bit of a metre is a beauty. How do you feel about that, mate? Great. As you would. Most blokes would give their, one of their teeth for a fish like that. And you've snaggled it. It probably weighs nearly as much as you, mate. Probably. <laughs> we call him one of bass man mumbler. Got right in the corner of the mouth there. Well hooked. Well, look, look at that. What an absolute snarler. Do you want to give him a push, buddy? Let him go. Get your finger out of his dog. Put it back in the glass. Hey? Sitting down deep. Oh. Tell me when he's going to surface. Yep. Oh, he's about to surface now. Coming up, you can see him in the water. Nice solid fish. Oh, look at that. Lovely. Good stuff, Pete Meister. It's a nice smoke cod. He's going to go under the boat, I think, mate. Motor up. Yeah, mate, it's off, mate. It's not up, it's off. <laughs> he's tested you. <laughs> Right. There we are. Look at that. Grab the stinger hook stinger again. again. <laughs> Sorry, Pinky, but he wouldn't turn his head. That's right. Just cut me finger too. <laughs> I'm gonna just hit the wrong button. Alright, sneaks up. the stinger once again. Oh, look at that. Nice big fat taurus. Mate, isn't that, there's a tape measure just on the dash there. Just run a tape over it. <laughs> What's your regurgitator? I don't know, but it doesn't sound too good. Is your arm long enough, Pete? <laughs> it's close. It's, what is it? That's him. 
About a meter, a meter five. Lovely. <laughs> Could regurgitate something that stinks, I can tell you that much. <laughs> oh, this perfect boat for it. <laughs> what are you saying? He's in there. Hang on. Can you get your hand out of his mouth? <laughs> Lovely. Look at that, well done. I can't. He's... Oh, he's got some fish fillets or something in there. Let's have a look. <laughs> Let's have a look. look at this. Oh, yeah, it's a bit of pibery, I'd imagine. Pibery. Yeah. What else has he got in there? <laughs> Don't clamp on me. <laughs> bit more pibery. Yeah. Hold him up. Let's have a good look. Yeah. Still nice and. Shit, come on, mate. It stinks <laughs> like crap. <laughs> Let's get him back in, eh, mate? Yeah. Oh, no. oh, you're on the motor, Peaky. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's a good angle anyway. It's alright? Yep, put him in nice and smooth. Yeah, mate. So I can get a... And then hold him in there for a little bit. <coughs> the peasant, he's holding there. Yeah, just hold, let him sit right there and get his bearings. Yeah, he's a nice, healthy one. Yeah, oh, he's yeah. as good as gold. He's yeah, look good. <laughs> let him go nice and gently so he just sits there. That's it. You alright, mate? Yeah. Look at that. Oh, wow. I reckon that's neat when they swim off, like, you know, they yeah. sit there for a few seconds. Well, that's neat when they spill, <laughs> yeah, I can tell you that much. <laughs> what else has he got in <laughs> oh, That stinks. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> if I didn't have that ache before, I got one now. Oh! You shouldn't have tried to eat it. I didn't, I just tried to get it out. I'm going to put me swag on that to travel home. <laughs> oh, don't make me laugh. <laughs> Good work, Sneakster. <laughs> uh. we, we might have to go to car lovers first. <laughs> that was right, that bit. <laughs> oh. oh, that's those are up. That's pretty cool how he sat there for a second before he swam off when I let him go. Oh yeah, she's not a bad little fish, Claire. Have a look at this. Oh mate, that's beautiful. Yep. Yeah, typical. Murray River Golden Perch is not a big fish. Most of them are about this size. But uh, they, are, they fall very heavily for the spinner baits and, and when you're the maker of these spinner baits, the bassman. He's hooked really well. He is hooked well. Yeah. He's gobbled that right into him, hasn't he? You right there, mate? No. <laughs> See if you can get a, get a hold of that, buddy. He's just he's taken that front hook. He's missed the stinger, which is, un which is unusual for these. But uh, look at that, a beautiful fish, a beautiful yellow belly. Really nice one. I'll put him back. And I'll get Glenn, there he goes, tumbles back off out there for another time. And I'll get Glenn to tell you a little bit about spinner baits because they're a different lure and we use them in different ways. Now people just chuck them out, wind them in, chuck them out, wind them in and it's, it's not the right way to fish them properly, is it, Lee? No, no mate, you gotta, you got to let them sink a little bit. You're using different head weights for different conditions and different, uh, and different water depths. That's it, that's yeah. it. This one we've been using here um as a 58 in the Clodman series okay we're using um bigger blades because we want a bit more vibration and thump to come out of them what we're trying to do here as well with the silver blade is um just water conditions at the present time are just a little bit clear so we just want a little bit of extra flash coming through with the silver blade and it seems to be working doesn't it? it seems to be working really well still rigged up with the plastics and uh this one's just a different skirt colour we're messing around with, just a bit of a hot colour con with contrasting heads. That's it mate, we tend to fish this, this sort of this sort of setup in that three to four metres of water because it's, um, with the bigger blade it rises fairly quickly through the water column, so don't fish it in too, too, too deep of water and if you do, pause the retrieve halfway through so that it sinks back down and gives the fish a chance to pick it up on the drop. Mate, if um, people want to fish a little bit faster water and also extremely deep, you can start to run into stuff like the uh, with the double willows. 
Okay, I've got this set up here for running a bit deeper and wind it and retrieve it a lot quicker. That's right, you move yeah. it faster, can't you? Yeah, move it a lot faster. We use a lot of these up home for the bass fishermen and that sort of thing. And if you're running in faster water, like the upper Murray and that sort of thing, they, they work extremely well. Very effective on big cod. Um, yeah, both, both styles of, of lure work. They're just four different situations. And it's the same with our hard bodies. A couple of days ago, you would have seen me catch a fish on this big fella here. This is a 150 mil lure, an AC invader. There's plenty of big lures on the market, but this lure is designed specifically as a big prey item. Um, it attracts big fish, especially when the fish are quiet. You know, something like that wobbles past slowly. It's going to tempt a fish that otherwise might be reluctant to take something smaller. So it's a large profile for large fish. Now we work these into the current. Um, a lot of anglers don't know that even a minimal amount of current on a high buoyancy lure will rob you of depth. So if you're trolling this with the current, um, that extra current will rob you of depth and you'll have to work your lure very quick to get it down to the bottom. So what we do is we work the big one upstream, we work the smaller model downstream. Less buoyancy, cuts in quicker, gets down, stays in the zone at much slower speeds. Whereas this one, work it into the current and it gets down and you can work it at slower speeds again. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Yeah, current. and you mainly just use loop knots, Rod? All loop knots, all loop knots. I don't like snaps. Um, I've seen probably <laughs> all of the best snaps in the world I'll say, they're, so you're yeah. told, this is the best snap you'll ever see. 90% of them I've seen open it in some way or another, whether it be by a fish, by a tackle back, uh, just, yeah, they're forever open. Never yet seen a loop knot come undone um, or break, so it uh, gives you plenty of action. They don't cost you anything, you just got to tie on a few more leaders during the day. Yeah. I'll, get, I'll get Glenn to run you through a couple of these knots. Um, a leader knot, a loop knot and a blood knot and this is the way we connect to our uh, lures. But before we do that, I'll just run you through the type of tackle we use. Now we got a, on the last DVD, a lot of blokes uh, wanted how he heavy our rods were and all that sort of stuff. Well, we're, we're fishing reasonably light. This one's a 10 kilo stick. I use this to troll larger lures such as these. But when we're casting our spinner baits, we're getting down to rods of four to six kilos, uh, fairly light rods. Small overhead reels, if they can hold 100, 100 yards of uh, 50 pound braid, not a problem. And to this we've just got, like I said, 50 pound braid, small overhead reel, 4 to 6 kilo rod, and 40 to 60 pound leader. And that's it. That'll handle the biggest cod that you're ever likely to hook. There's no need to go for the crowbar and winch mentality. Um, you, you might spend 9 hours a day on the water, you want it as light and as practical as you can get it. Can so, the price range between these rods, mate, like the, 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 the pen range, is that they've got a really nice cheap range of rods well, in that area? That's it, mate. The pinpoint range, uh, I think they retail for around 140, 160 bucks, uh, which is fairly good. And, and you've seen the punishment that they've taken on the DVDs. Uh, so, yeah, that's a cheap outfit. The reel's probably a couple of hundred bucks. All up, probably, I don't know, 350. Yeah. For, the, for the whole outfit, you know, so that's fairly cheap when you consider some of the other rods on the market and reels. Um, yeah, well, you know, I like I like using the Dyra range, but, you know, some of them start to get a little bit expensive. And that's it. It's um, You, you know. don't have to be a square to do this type of fishing. It's just basic equipment. And um, what do you like using? That's it, mate. What are you happy with? Yep, a handful yeah. of lures, a handful of spinner baits, a bit of gear. Um, and like I said, I'll just get Glenn to show you a couple of knots now that we use. They're fairly simple. Now, the Dyra Bimini. Uh, some people get into a fair bit of trouble. They want to tie, uh, they, they tie real long knots. What we're trying to do is just a short double, okay, just maybe 18 inches, maybe even 12 inches. Okay, now what we do is about between a 40 and 50 turn bimini, just a loop, grab hold of it, a couple of fingers between the loop end and start twisting. One, two, and just count. And so on. And make sure you do do at least four, I do at least 40 wraps because the bimini isn't actually a knot. If you don't do enough wraps in it, it will slide up and down on your line. That's what makes the bimini such an effective loop. It isn't, it isn't in fact a knot. Yeah. There's, there's no actual knot in your line, so you don't lose any of your line strength. 
And while it may look complicated, it's quite simple. Just twist it around so it's all sort of twisted up. Okay. Do the toe job. Do just whack it over your toes. Excuse me, nails. <laughs> you had a medical. Yeah, side. yeah. I mean, I'll give yeah. you a trim up with these while I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> well, we do. It just. I can hold that for you, mate, if you want. Yeah. You want to hold that? Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, it's either that or just just hold it in your lips. Grab your two fingers. Start to run it up, up the line. Hold it out at right angles. And just as it starts to get tight, you'll feel the line start to loop. Start to bind back on itself. And just let it roll. So that's what it's in fact doing, it's rolling back down over itself? So, all the way down. Then just give it a pinch. Then what we do is just one half hitch. Okay, on one side. Some guys finish it off completely differently. Um, they put a half hitch on both sides. I personally, I just put a half hitch on one side and then I do half a dozen half hitches all the same way on it That's to it, finish mate. it off. Now, yeah, I've seen a hundred different finishes for this yeah. knot and um, realistically, like I said, it's not a knot. So long as it doesn't come undone. Make everything just nice and firm. I'll just do this. Come mate, I can smell them sausages. Yeah, I know, man. <laughs> okay, that's like that. And then just get your braid scissors, snip it a bit, couple of mil off from the knot. Okay, to put your leader knot on, you just tied right. your bimini, you got your double. Okay, you got your loop of line. Up through there. Pinch it. Oh, I can't do it. Round about five times. One. Two, three, four, five. Okay, and then just back down between the, the leader line and the braid. Just give it a bit of a wet. Grab hold of it nice and firm because once you start, you want it to go all the way through. And then just pull it nice and firm. Just like that. It binds up, it's just a nice, tidy, neat little knot. Grab your snippers. Grab your snippers, grab the knot, right beside it. Just leave a little tag. Just nice and neat like that. And then, approximately, don't go overboard with your leader because sometimes the knots won't go through your, the, um, the guides on your reels. That's, that's right, I always yeah. make sure my knot stops yeah. an inch so, before the reel. So about um, five to six feet or two metres, just snip it off. The way you go. Easy peasy. Now, just explain how to tie on a spinner bait. A lot of people use snaps on spinner baits. Um, it doesn't work. Um, the snap will slide up and down the arm. It'll get tangled up all the time. Simple knot, simple blood knot. Yeah, simple blood knot. It's easy way to do it, mate. Just straight up through. Just six times, one, three, four, four, six, back through, oh crap. <laughs> Just a bit of moisture, pull it in nice and tight. Simple as that. Get nice and tight, and trim her up.
Ooh, that's a cod. You missed him? Missed him. Missed him. Put, put a cast straight in over there. Bitch. You would have felt weight, I'd say that weight, wouldn't you? No, it was just a big thump thump. You didn't, you didn't get any weight. You'll come back, I reckon. Take the motor? You're right. Get me out. You're going well, mate. Oh, Get me out. Yep, yep, you're going out. You're going out. <sighs> Tell me when you think it's going to surface. Ah, not yet, Bass. Not going well, mate. He's not a bad fish, either. He's a cracker. Got plenty of starch in him, that's for sure. Whew. Good stuff. Keep the hooks in him, mate. Keep the hooks well, in him. Well, I'm sort of hoping they stay in him. I don't want that usual old He's swim. not. You give him up anyway. He's got a bit of go. Oh, look at him there. Lovely. He's just about to come up, as I Lovely. Think. Big boil there. He's a nice fish. Lovely fish. He'll do, mate. He'll do. He'll do. That one yesterday would have eaten him, but... Yep, he'll do for now. <laughs> On the shark you reckon he's got a run left in him? Probably. On the chartreuse bass man. Isn't amazing now that fish looks small compared to that one yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> it does, doesn't it? What's he about 30 pounds? 30 no, he'll, pounds? he'll be 40 when you get him out. They look a lot. Do you want me to trace him? Or you reckon he's got to run in him? Oh, well, whatever you think. Right. You gotta want the bloody thing. Yeah, well that's what I'm asking you. He's <laughs> running out. There we go. He's got no he's got 40. Yeah, he's 40p, I reckon. Got him? Yeah. Hey, yeah, buddy, mate. That's it. Hang on to him, Pato. That's my boy. Got him. Can you get him over on yourself? If you want to put him in the boat, I can. Yeah. I'll pick him up, bring him in. I'll take well, I think a I can anyway. I'll take a couple of photos of him. Why are you hanging on to him? I might need a hand to stand up, though. <laughs> How you going, buddy? Good start, Pat Wing. Oh, Wait, now we're getting... He, he's a fucking 30 pounder. <laughs> Grab me leg, can you? I'm slipping. I can't fucking slide. <laughs> well, I think we better... We've all up size. This is what I mean yesterday when that one was in the water. I can't stop sliding in these things. You're like a big, like a big tortoise. Uh, he's a good 50, 60 pound. <laughs> you all right? Yep. Oh, I'm hooked, mate. Do you want to take a photo of you or do you want to take one of mine, mate? Oh, well, I did want to take one of you, actually, but you can get one of mine. He's a good 60 pound cod, hey, that mate. fish. Yeah, I'm calling him 30 pounds. So, how big was that fish yesterday? Yeah, that's what I'm saying to you. You don't really know how big they actually are. How's that bad? Zoom in on that. What a snarler of a can cod. You your, can you drop your left elbow? Yeah. Snarler of a cod. Get into it, Pato. I want to get him back in the drink. Sideways one. Can you fit him in? He's a good 60 pound fish. He's an absolute snarler of a fish. Just drop him down a wee bit, mate. <laughs> Come on. Righto. Let's do something with this big bugger. What a lovely fish. What do you think of him, Buzz? Yeah. Hey? They're saying about Big Murray Cod. There's a recently there's a thing in freshwater fishing saying about the, the large cod breeding, best breeders in the river. It's uh, killed a bit of a myth that was portrayed over the years that these big cod don't breed. Um, I think that, that myth was so that anglers could actually keep them. Well, we know now that these big fellas are the best breeders in the river. The best thing we can do with them is return them. And we'll put this big boat back in the drink and he'll be there for another time. Okay? In we go. Have a little swim off. Mate, yeah, that is it. Beauty. Another nice fish caught on a mumbler. Oh, he's a nice fish. Nice fish. 
Kurang mestinya. Oh, he's a lovely fish. Pick him up. Getting a bit excited. He'll be right. Here he comes now. He's not too bad a fish, at all. Oh, another lovely, lovely fish. Caught on the mumbler, on the stinger. Fantastic. How's that look, Glenn? Looks beautiful, mate. Looks beautiful. Hang on, I'll just zoom in on the uh, mumbler. Okay. Wait back in the drink. Oh. Well, look at this. He's topped up a bony brim. So that's what they've been feeding on. And that's probably why the white mumbler, like that, that's probably why he's taking it because it's it's a bony brim colour. So he's probably thought that's a bony brim and he's woofed it. So we'll put this boat back in and he'll be right. Beautiful. Nice little carp. <laughs> Have a look at that. The old European carp taken on a spinner bait. <laughs> Big enough. <laughs> yeah. yeah, swell rod. We've just been slammed by a mumbler. By a mumbler, yes? <laughs> well, the, the fish slammed the mumbler. <laughs> by the mumbler, Go I on. think that's what you mean. Yes, he's not quite done yet either, mate. He's not that guy. Oh, that's one. Got some power, haven't they? They have got some power. Oh, he's a good fish. Fish. Oh. You gotta want it, Rod. You gotta want it. He's not quite finished yet. <laughs> and he's off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, wouldn't that be funny? There he is. Open up, big Beautiful mumblers. Nice fish, just slide him over the side, yasser. Right over, here we go. Good fish, yasser. Oh, here we go, we've got a big black snake. He is just swimming away there. Can't keep up with him, we're trying to pull you in slowly, just going to break his stop. Not much. Take a look out. See the size rim there? Look at that. It's nice actually, and wide across. His gills have got something wrong with it's him. Actually, yeah, something is something. Grab the curled back in. See if I can get him in the boat. Nice long cod. He has a problem with his gills. Yeah, something wrong there. Looks, looks horrible. 
nice healthy fish apart from that. Well, Doesn't look like it really bothers him. No, he seems to be going quite well. Big mouth on him. Yep. It's recording. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is recording. So we'll put him back in the water. Nice and easy. Oh, and look at that. Off he goes. He's a good fish. He actually is a bloody good one. Fantastic. Big fella. He's a bloody ripper. Have a look at that from where he caught. Woo hoo! Fantastic. Snaggled a bassman spinnerbait. <laughs> he's woofed that spinnerbait. JC's bait and tackle Swan Hill. Only man on the Murray that'll lend you a boat to go and catch a big Murray cod. So I'll let this big fella go. We can just cruise off. We've just been trolling along this bank here. It's been pretty slow today, and we're sort of working on a numbers game. If you keep trolling long enough, oh, sooner or later, you'll get smashed. And in this case, we've had the big 150 mil AC invader out. And I think he's a pretty good fish, this one. He's heading around the other side of the boat, so we better... Oh, he's good. Stick him here, Gus. Oh, they fight with a lot of power, big cod. They don't give in easy. This fella's taking a bit of strength every now and again. Trying to hide under the boat. Taking string. He's hanging in. So good fun, he's Gus. <laughs> he's actually giving it to you a fair bit, isn't he? Fun, aren't they? We haven't sided him yet. Here he comes. Oh, here he comes. Oh, he's not oh, a bad yeah, fish. We've only just pinned him. We got him by one hook, I think. What lure will you use? I've got a big 150 mil AC. All right. A big fluoro gold spot thing. It's a very uh, strange looking colour actually, but uh, seems to have done the job. Have a look at that, mate. One in the corner of the beak. Just bring it around for you. So it's handy to have a good set of flippers. Tied it in sideways, mate. That's it. Just like you know how to work that? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's handy to have a good set of grippers and a bloke that knows how to use them. <laughs> He's nearly, he's nearly done, I think. Holding a fish going to go. Got him. No. Oh. Oh. <laughs> like, giving yeah. a, like giving a monkey a machine gun. <laughs> In he comes this time. Right, uh, you got him, mate. Right on his side, gun. Keep him upright. Ah. Have a look at that. What a beautiful Murray cod. Absolute smell. I'll just pop that little one little hook in there, mate, eh? Yeah, not held by much at all. The old owner trebles. We load all our lures with owner trebles because they're very sharp. Nice fish, mate. Yeah, nice one. Yep. Take Good a few hours. Fish. Good maybe a bit over a metre. Yep, it's taken a few hours, but. We use the, the one dumb fish policy. If you keep trolling along sooner or later, you'll come across one that'll have a go at you. The fish aren't on, but every now and again, you'll bump into one like this. So we'll put him back and see if we can't go out and get a couple more. Beautiful. You want to hold my rod? I'll grab so we can see the bubbler. Open up. 
opens. Oh, okay, okay, alright. Gee, how big is that fish? Over oh. guts and, and lower him nice and softly into the water. Get that right out of his leg. That's it, nice and slowly, and hold him in the water for a while. I haven't got his mouth. <laughs> Go put him in. Yeah, I'll be right. Oh, that's good. I'll get the big fat over that one too. <laughs> Wait. Look at that. Yep. He's right. Yeah, yep. just nice and slow, that's it. Oh, look at that. Oh, look, he just peed down there. Oh, yeah. oh, very well done, boys. Get over here, did they? And not get in. Yep. Ah, yellow. Oh, that's right. Oh, 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 oh. Get into him. Yeah, it's cold. he's got some nuts. Oh, yeah, oh. of course he has. Oh, get him out of the way. Oh, he's. Hang on, he's right under us. Oh, get around there. Get around there with you there, mate. <laughs> oh, he's under the boat. Oh, dear. I'm right. I'm all right. It's coming up, Baz. You look fresh anyway. Oh. Just sitting on the bottom. Here he comes. Yeah, you're right. Here he comes. Oh, that might be that. Turn out he's in sticks. He is a bit. Oh. You hit the sticks or what's Yeah, he's, he's just dusting me up a bit, mate. He's a good fish. Look at the bend in it. Yeah. Oh. oh, no, he's bricked me now. You're kidding me. Don't, don't break him off. Oh, what am I? Yeah, what are you doing to us, mate? Trying to get me out. Is he still going? Or what? Yeah, I've just there. got a little stick involved. What do you want to do, mate? I want to go back over there. Is not brick trick? No, I felt him run a second ago. He might have just buzzed me then. But... Don't give up. We haven't lost him yet. Righto. Yeah. I think, yep. Yeah, he's a cracker. He is a cracker. Look at that. <laughs> Grab a glove. Yeah, but, oh, look at the colour on it. Oh, no, I've got to bust a double, mate. Yep, yeah, well, where's the glove? Where's the glove, do you know? It should be right there on the side of the boat. You're going to love it. Hey. <laughs> he's a cracker, all right. Nice fish. I've got to bust a double, but just bring him over here. Oh, it's a beautiful colour. He's there, mate, for me. Bad eight. I'm doing what I can do, mate. You got him? You got him? Oh, oh man. Now I've got him. The bank. Yeah, let's take him over the bank. Oh. oh. Best man right. spinner boy. You right? There you go, boys. Oh, well done, Paddy. There you go, mate. Shoot him out, buddy. Woo -hoo. What a. What a snarler. Oh, what a beautiful Look at the look colour. At the That's a beautiful fish. Can you just hold him like that for a second, Paddy? Because that just looks really good, mate. Let go. All right, let him go. Woohoo! <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> that was a big close one. <laughs> Don't give him your line. Right. That'll be nice on the head. Keep going out so you, you can't go back in. I saw him. I saw him hit it. Good. It's a nice fish. Look Whoa. at that. Have a look at that. He is a monster. He is a ripper. On the spinnerbait once again. Look at the size of that. Be 
is going a good 70 pound this one. Nice thick fish. This big old fish this one. Big old fish. Just put water in the lip. He's not done with yet, mate. Nearly. <laughs> Back up to see us again. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't want to be with us. Have a look at it. He wants to do whatever he wants to do, I think. Yeah. Look at that. Settle down now. Don't know that he's done with yet. He's still trying to power away. You got him now. You got him. Oh, it just fell out. Oh, have a look at that. <laughs> you got to have a bit of luck in fishing. Have a look at him. I don't know whether you're going to be able to do this. Nah. <laughs> we'll just keep him here. He's a good long fish, look at that. <laughs> Big head on him. Big Have a look lips. At that. Big bucket. Big eyes. Here. So here you go, mate. Uh, uh, this is a young man's game. <laughs> uh, Have a look at that. Uh, big fish. That is a big, big fish. Uh, Getting a cramp too. Yeah. So we'll, All right. He's an old fish, so we'll put him straight back in. Won't hurt him. Ah. He can live to fight another day. Look at that. <laughs> he's got a good fish on. Well done, Glenn. Go on, Glenn. Good one, Glenn. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's a nice fish. Walk it up. He's still got a little bit in him. He's going under the box. Hey. Good. For one of the JD lures. Good hey. work, Luke. Good Using work, the Erskine Luke. lippers. Excellent. Good work. Now, you want to scoop him up there, Glenderman? You want to get some flies there? Uh, yeah, can do. Hang on a second, I'll just get it for you. Keep him upright. Keep him all uh, nice and upright. And then he'll get plenty of go in. Keep me. You're gonna want it, Glenn. That's the boy. What a nice fish. Good up for Glenn. Yeah, yeah. yeah, do you want to? Yeah, I'll take Beautiful. Yep. Good. Okay, get this bit properly. Just pop that lure out of him there. The importance of having a good set of pliers with you. Lure out as easy as that. Okay. Here we go, another beautiful Murray cod. Let's let him go. Good stuff, man. Beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Good Good man. Ha <laughs> ha